Hi everyone, welcome to the Green Blend. I hope you all are doing well. So guys, today in this video, we will talk about garden art creative ideas. So let's go. Garden design is the art and process of designing and creating plants for layout and planting of gardens and landscapes. Garden design may be done by the garden owner themselves or by professional or varying levels of experience and expertise. Amateur gardeners may also attain a high level of experience for extensive hours working in their own gardens, their uh, casual study, senior study in master gardener programs or by joining gardening club. Whether gardens are designated by a professional or an amateur, certain principles from the basis of effective garden design resulting in the creation of gardens to meet the needs, goals, and desire of the user or the owner of the gardens. Element of garden design include the layout of hardscapes such as paths, walls, water features, sitting areas, and decking and the source cape that is uh, the plants themselves with consideration for their horticulture requirements, their season to season appearance, lifespan, growth habit, size, speed of growth and combinations with other plants and landscapes feature. Consideration is also given to the maintenance needs of the garden including the time or funds available for regular maintenance which can affect the choices of plants in terms of speed of growth, spreading or self-seeding of the plants, whether annual or perennial, bloom time and many other characteristics. Uh, important considerations in the garden design include how the garden will be used, the desired stylistic genre and the way the garden space will connect to the home or other structures in the surrounding areas. All of these considerations are subject to the limitations of the prescribed budget. The design of a garden can be affected by the nature of its boundaries both external and internal and in turn the design can influence the boundaries including via creation of new ones. Planting can be used to modify an existing boundary lines by softening or widening it. Introducing internal boundaries can help divide or break up a garden into a smaller areas. The main types of boundaries within a garden are walls, fences, a hedge may be evergreen or deciduous, formal, informal, short or tall depending on the style of the garden and purpose of the boundary. A wall has a strong foundation beneath it all points and is usually but not always built from brick, stone or concrete blocks. A fence differs from a wall in that it is incurred only at intervals and it is usually constructed using wood or matter. Uh, here we go, uh, we'll talk about planting design and then I'll say planting design requires design talent and aesthetic judgment combined with a good level of horticulture, ecological and cultural knowledge. It includes two major traditions, formal rectilinear plant design and formal asymmetrical and naturalistic planting design. Um, garden furniture may range from a patio set consisting of a table for a six chairs and parasol uh, to benches, swings, various lightning to stunning artifacts in brutal concrete or weathered oak. Patio heaters that run on bottled butane or propane are often used to enable people to sit outside at night or in cold weather. A picnic table is used for the purpose of eating a meal outdoors such as in a garden room. The material used to manufacture modern patio furniture includes stones, metals, vinyl, plastic, resins, glass and thread woods.
a formal garden in the persian and european garden design traditions is rectilinear and axial in design the equally formal garden without axial symmetry and trees shrubs shrubs and other foliage are carefully arranged shaped and continually main, maintained a French formal garden uh, is a specific kind of formal garden laid out in the manner of Angeline Notaire. It is centered on the facade of a building with radiating avenues and path of gravel. Some of the earliest formal uh, portraits of clipped evergreens were those laid out and added by Claude Mollet. And uh, English landscape and um, basically naturalistic gardens style practically swept away the geometric of early English and European Russian and were leading proponents among many other. So guys, if you like our video, kindly subscribe our YouTube channel and don't forget to press bell icon for more updates. Thank you.